Hey Hope community and welcome to a special edition of Courageous Conversations. We have two wonderful Bobcats with us today who wear multiple roles in their everyday lives. So go ahead and introduce yourselves and then we'll get started. Hi, my name is Maurice Hendry. I'm the director of Facility and Transportation at Hope Public School. And I enjoy what I do making a difference in kids' life. I'm a long resident of this area, been here all my life. And I wouldn't go nowhere else if somebody tried to encourage me to. Been here for 40 years, and I thank God for what I do, you know, involved in different areas in the community. Awesome. Yes, sir. My name is Travell Green, fourth grade teacher, Clinton Primary School. Uh, I love what I do. I'm blessed to be able to work with children every single day and be able to make a positive impact in their lives. So we mentioned that you two wear multiple hats, right? Yes. yes. So one of those hats is pastor. Both of you are pastors yes, of, yes, of your own uh, separate churches. So talk a little bit, if you don't mind, about the role and the importance of uh, community and churches in school life. Church and, and community have always been a combination that makes things happen, mm -hmm. not just for young people, elderly people. And those two work together. Either you get involved in learning in the church spiritually or you're involved in the school learning academically. Mm -hmm. So we always have it. When my parents were coming up, the school, it was the church and the school. Mm -hmm. So now we blessed to have them separated, but at the same time use both of them to enlarge our course as we, as we learn from academic and how to be good citizen on God's side. I agree. Yes, sir. Well, when you think about the, the church as it pertains to community, the old adage goes, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. And so it starts with the church. Mm -hmm. A lot of our upbringing, a lot of the things that we learned, a lot of us learned it inside of the church. Mm -hmm. And so when our children go to school, they take that that they've learned from the church and they are able to apply that in the classroom. And so pastors have the ability to help correct mm -hmm. some behaviors. Pastors have the ability to help encourage students to do their best in the classroom. And mm -hmm. so... Most of us have to do a better job of being focused and concerned about not just the adults in our church, but also being concerned about our children, mm -hmm. making sure that they're doing what they need to do when they go to school, making sure that they're putting in the time, making sure they don't have many absences, mm -hmm. you know, just doing our part as a pastor, not to just reach the parents, but also to reach those children. So you guys understand implicitly the role of the pastor in shepherding a flock, Yes. right? So talk a little bit about the commonalities between what you do every day, in, whether it's in the classroom or yes, being sir. a leader at the school or in the school district. You're shepherding your flock in your congregation, but mm -hmm. you also have a responsibility and an assignment here in your everyday job. So talk about the... I think there. both, either in, as me as a pastor in the church as a director, a leader in the school system, mm -hmm. it takes the people that you work with to get on board to accomplish some of the things you want. Mm -hmm. We all have our issues, but we don't, we don't look at issues. If we looked at issues, we wouldn't have a savior. Mm -hmm. So we got to work with people and where they are, or get down to the level they are. Uh, that's what I share with the, with the people that I work with. I don't work, uh, they don't work for me, I work with them, mm -hmm. so we all can make a difference. Because at the end of the day, we all servants. And we want to make a difference and have an impact on people's lives. When we was walking in today, a young lady outside ran over to Pastor Green and wanted to give him a big hug because he had, she had, a, he had an impact on her life. I don't know when she was in the in the fourth grade at, over to his campus. So that's the kind of atmosphere we want to leave uh, when we're among people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, when you consider the classroom, it is very similar. To your church mm -hmm. because when you consider a classroom you have multiple personalities right. so in my classroom I have 23 students mm. in one class and I have 20 in another so there's 43 students that I encounter or that I interact with throughout the day mm -hmm. and so when you think about a church you have multiple people inside of a church and mm -hmm. you have to be able to interact with them all on their level you know the word says he that wins souls must be wise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so it takes a lot of wisdom to interact with your with your shepherds, the sheep that you shepherding, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of wisdom for you to interact correctly with your students. One important thing about being an educator is being able to build a rapport with your students. Mm -hmm. You know, as the old adage goes, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. That's right. right. Yeah, I, I agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's switch gears ever so slightly. Okay. What's going well? So what's going well, whether it's in your job specifically or Hope as a community or the school district overall, what's going well? I'll take it. Um, Dr. Crossley, honestly, I do believe that since you've been here, 
I want to give you some flowers while you have the opportunity to sit up. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, I, I, I do believe, man, that morale has increased. The morale has improved. A lot of people are more, uh, you see people happier to come to work each day. You know, and, and for me, that's always been extremely important that I'm able to go to a place where I enjoy being. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing, a lot of people go to jobs every single day that they really don't enjoy being in. Mm -hmm. uh, they said that uh, if you want to know when do most heart attacks occur, it's the first day of the week <laughs> because people have to go to work the first day of the week. Hey, Pastor Green giving a sermon this whole, this whole interview, isn't it? And, and, and so when you enjoy going to where you go to work, mm -hmm. man, it, it just makes everything so much better. You know, and also it helps the students mm -hmm. when they see us interacting positively. It allows us to build those positive relationships with them as well. Well, I appreciate you saying that. And I'll just say, I, I know not everything is perfect. There are things that we can always do to improve, That's right. That's right. but we have to be in this together. Mm -hmm. It, it takes us working together to get to where we want to go and, and not taking energy away from progress, but adding energy to progress is what we need to do. So I, I appreciate you saying that. Mr. Henry? I, I think same, I feel the same way, Pastor Green. It's the areas that getting involved in the district and the community. Mm -hmm. I think we can't do one without the other mm -hmm. because we, yes, we, 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 we like a, a negative or positive, even though they're opposite, but they got to work together yep. to make the car move or the engine yes, start. Yes, so sir. some things that I see happening positive right here in this community, the resources that are available now for students, yep. yes, sir. academic, yes, sir. financially, spiritually, and physically. I just think that we need to get more involved and, and, and give them an opportunity to reach out. Uh, that's one thing I like to see, and you got you know you started a program I think last year when uh, you had a downtown performance bank to all mm -hmm. in, and you see how the community wrapped around that and got involved. So if they can do that then, they can continue to do that in the future. Yep. So it's taking that energy and yes, and keeping it going throughout keeping the going. year. Yes, sir. And so it can be yes, tough. Sir. Mondays can be hard sometimes. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, so sir. so what's not going so well? What are some areas that we could improve as a district? Whether it's um, you know, academically or, or whatever, or as a community? What are things that you would like to see us do better or different? The challenge for me, me is, mm -hmm. I can don't speak for me, what I could do to make it better for the district, is when you deal with issues, we, we always want to get to the top surface. I think we need to get to the root of the problems mm -hmm. so we can really go from bottom up and stop going from top down. That's just me. Yes, sir. When I have yes, issues, you know, I want to find out. Let's go to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. If we're sincere about really trying to make a difference in the kid's life or in the adult life, in anybody's life, right. we really got to go to the root of the problem mm -hmm. and start from the bottom up and stop trying to work from the top down. And that, I just think that's what I could do. I try to do better. Well, you do a great job of that. I'll just say that. So what I hear you saying is relationships. Because mm -hmm. when you know somebody, when you're close to somebody, yes, you can talk to them on a different level. That's why you're so great as yes, a teacher. Sir. I mean, yes, if you haven't yes, checked out the videos, check him out. He's got a beginning of school raps. He's got the Gentleman's Club that he's working with. So he's mentored, I mean, close to 30 young men every week, bringing in guest speakers, but also pouring into their lives. Mm -hmm. It takes relationship. So how, how are we going to expect to move forward if we don't follow the golden rule? That's right. If we don't love our neighbor as ourselves, how, how are we going to expect to get there? And, right. and what I love about this conversation is that you guys have to live that every day, every single every day, day, and twice every on day. Sunday. Every day. Yes. So, so that's I just think it's, it's so wise that you guys both have brought that up. Mr. Green, what do you think? What's, what's, what could be improved? Um, I would have to say what you said, just relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, just again, building that rapport between teachers and parents, building that rapport between administrators and parents. Yeah. You know, there, there's at times a disconnect. Yeah. And so we have to at times as educators go out of our way to try to make that relationship stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we, we, we may have to make some phone calls. You know, we may have to go to a basketball game throughout the week. You mm -hmm. know, we, we, we may have to show up you know, in places that we didn't expect to show up in just to try to interact with those parents. Each time we do that, we're building those relationships. So now when I pick up the phone call to talk to mom and dad about what's happening in the classroom, they immediately respond positively because we have a rapport between each other. That's right. And, and, and they don't expect anything negatively because they know me as an individual. They know me as a person. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we just have to continue to do our part to work on building those positive relationships with our parents in the community. I agree. Mr. Henry, anything to add to that? Yeah, I'm, I, I definitely agree with what he says. And I think I think the biggest part that, she, that I've learned just doing this job, not in pastoral, is, is people really want to know that you care. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The results is not the, might not be what they really get or what they really want, uh, but they want to know that you care. Right. So you have said many times, make sure you return this call. 
you know, that's important. People want to hear that's from true. you and want to know that their voice make a difference. Mm -hmm. How can we expect them to do something when we don't do it? Mm -hmm. Hey, that message will preach right there. So leading by example. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, so talk to me about leading by example. Because you have to do that. Again, you do that all yeah. day long and twice yeah. on Sunday. So, yeah. Well, we, we got to understand that we are, we're none of us are seven. That's mean perfect. Yeah. We all got some handicap <laughs> yeah. in some shape or other. That's right. So we got to understand to learn and deal with each other on the level that we own. Mm -hmm. You take this pencil, for example. It can be used on multiple occasions for multiple reasons. You can write something down mm -hmm. with the top, and you can flip it over. Yes, and when we make a mistake, we got to be able to mm -hmm. forgive one another. Mm -hmm. At the same token, you got to sharpen this pencil every now and then to get the lead where you need it. Mm -hmm. So That's it's it. on the inside of us. We the best of us is on the inside, mm -hmm. not the out. I love that. Yes, Mr. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, just just to piggyback off of what uh, Pastor Henry said, you know, when you think about it, it's extremely important that we take out the time. That we take out the time, man, to to encourage those young people, mm -hmm. to to uplift those young people, to support those young people. Uh, even today, we had a uh, gentleman's club session, right? And we talked about our story, you know, our life story, mm -hmm. and it, it it got real, real interesting mm -hmm. to the point to where there were young men who had tears in their eyes mm -hmm. because they understood that we all have a story, mm -hmm. and and it's extremely important that we take out the time to share those things with one another. Right. A lot of things that we do is on the surface, mm -hmm. but it's so important that we break that open. Mm -hmm. You know, and get down to the inside of what's really going on with our children, what's really going on, and be willing. And I heard him. I heard him use the pencil. One thing about leadership. One thing that I think every great leader will do is admit that you make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Because when you admit that you make mistakes, you unconsciously allow other folks to feel to comfortable do the same to thing. Do the same. That's right. Yes, saying I don't know is not a sign of weakness. It's just saying, hey, help me out. Help me I need out. some support yes, here. None yes, of us sir. are perfect, as you were mentioning. Right. So we're getting close to our, our end time here. Yes, so if you would, we have teachers, staff members, students, parents, community members that, that tune in and watch our, our weekly session. So just do you have a message for the community or for the staff or anybody watching that you'd like to get across? I just ask the community, the parents, the staff, to stay involved, uh, not just in a – in your circle, in our circle, I'm in one area, but you can be involved in so many aspects to make a difference in this community and a child life, uh, which is unreal. And I just thank, thank God for opportunities to He give us to go down path. Every morning we get up, we have a ministry. Mm -hmm. Did anybody come in your presence? You have an opportunity to say some positive or give them some type of encouragement word. And I just encourage us to be more positive rather than mm -hmm. negative because we all going to have those times in our life where we're going to need to be encouraged. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. I love it. Mr. Green? Uh, I had a, have an old saying is that all of us have strive to get a new blood type. Mm -hmm. And that's be positive. <laughs> yes, every single Love day, it. we should strive to get up, man, and do our best to be positive. You know, because, again, people are watching how we treat one another. People are watching us. People are trying to find someone that's different than the ordinary. Mm -hmm. And you could be extraordinary by simply being positive, by simply treating other people the way they want to be treated and the way you want to be treated. And so if I could say anything else, as a young man, I don't know how much time I have, as a young man, and I said this the other day to someone else, that when I was a child, I played peewee football. I was a pretty good peewee football mm -hmm. player. And, but a lot of times, I didn't have one of my parents there to support. Mm -hmm. And so other people would say, well, Travell, you did a great job. You scored many touchdowns. We're proud of you. But the one that I wanted to see, the one that I needed to see mm -hmm. was not there. Mm -hmm. And so I said all that to say this, is that if you can do, any, if you can do anything as parents, it's be there. You may not say a word, just be there. And your presence, whether you believe it or not, it does make a difference. Gentlemen, I love you both. Love I, you. I appreciate y'all. Yes. Y'all do an amazing job. I'm honored to serve alongside you. Hope Public Schools, we're all in.